there is no doubt that we could say Paul was relational. And if you're bold enough, depending on how you use the word, you might even say he was missional. And now we're going to get to another person. He had friends, Timothy, Titus. And here's one with Epaphroditus. So in Philippians chapter two, verses 25 through 30, the text reads, but I thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger and minister to my needs, because he was longing for you all and was distressed because you had heard that he was sick. For indeed he was sick to the point of death, but God had mercy on him, and not only him only, but also on me, so that I would not have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore I have sent him all the more eagerly, so that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and I may be less concerned about you. Receive him then in the Lord with all joy, and hold men like him in high regard. Because he came close to death for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was deficient in your service to me. I wonder, are we a people who do as much as we can or do we do the least we can do just to get by? And so here is Paul who loves Epaphroditus, who loves the Philippians, who's willing to, how do I say, he's willing to share. What does he call him? He calls him his brother, fellow worker, takes it a step up. He calls him his fellow soldier. Then he has more titles to him. Your messenger, minister to my needs. But those at Philippi heard that he was sick and he was sick. He was close to death for the work of Christ. And so Paul said, I will share him with you. And so he did. He sent him to him to fulfill the theme of the Philippians, rejoicing. He said, I wanted you to see him again so you could rejoice. And if you're doing well, then I am doing well. Receive him with all joy. Then he puts him in a group. Hold men like him in high regard. And then verse number 30, there was a deficiency that was spoken of there. And that deficiency was on the part of the Philippians. And he said to them, I wanted him to be with me so he could complete what was deficient in your service to me. Oh, that we would be a people who give, who glory, who rejoice, who delight, who figure out those things, like in verse 25, that are necessary. I thought it necessary to send him to you. What do you find necessary? in service to one another. Once you figure out what it is and you rejoice in it, I just say this, do it.